crazy testimony right now. And this is, this is gonna like literally blow your mind. Alex Sloper, Loper Machine, Machinist. A lot of you guys know him out there. Amazing individual, amazing family man. He's got a company and, and uh, I actually did a feature on him. And you see machine after machine after machine running, all of his employees, this young man just built this incredible company and they're just expanding and expanding and expanding. Guess what? A couple months ago, he actually was like, hey, Titan, he texted me and he's like, hey, you got a couple minutes? And, and I was like, uh, yeah, man, like, let's jump on a call. So I jumped on a call with him and then he was like, hey, when you were here, I had this one job for this one company. I was filling up multiple machines. We're running it nonstop. And basically the, it was going through the entire company and going into next year. And the work had been subbed to us. And basically I was under the assumption that we were gonna have this work all the way through the next year, but they pulled the work. And now I'm in a situation where I have all these machines and they don't have work. And instead of hiring people, I'm actually having to let people go. And Titan, you know, I'm a runner but like I'm thinking about quitting running because like I need to be in a shop running machines and when I'm out actually running I mean competition running right marathons this is what he does when I'm out there running I just got this stuff hitting my my spirit and hitting my brain in a way that I just can't like I just can't handle it so he's like you know now I'm having to lay people off and I'm having to do this and do this and like I don't know I'm going to keep the doors open and and like all of these different things and stuff. And I was just like, hey, slow down. <laughs> I have been there before. So, and I gave him a list of different things, right? You're treading water and you're trying not to drown as a machine shop owner. And, and literally when you drown, you pull your employees with you. They might go get another job and everything, but they're dependent on your decisions. They're dependent on you because they get their money to pay their own bills from you and they're part of a team, they're part of a family. So if you actually go down, it's part of the whole thing, right? The whole ecosystem is going down and that's hard on an owner to actually have that responsibility. So I was like, look, here's how you tread water, okay? These are things that you can actually do to your company to make it so it doesn't get pulled underneath the water. OK, and then I was like, here is here is actually some things that you can do to actually progress and go get new work. I said, well, one thing that you need to do is you need to go to your customers and you need to be open and honest with them and you need to like solve their problems and you need to speak to them in a way where you build that relationship to a higher level. Now, one thing that I did in the past is I was working for a company, Shilling Robotics, a lot of you guys know, and I was doing so much work for them. And, and it was like, I was stuck at a desk just doing quote after quote after quote. And then finally I went in and I said, look, I don't have time to quote all this work. I'm already like half the price of everybody else when it comes to labor. So how about you actually just give me all your work. Let me choose the parts. I'll just look at them. You purchase the material, take that responsibility off of my back because I'm a small company and then whatever's left on the labor compared to what you were paying drop that in half and then give me all those parts and then my team and I will produce those parts for you at that cost and you have an instant savings we'll write it up in a contract and you will instantly decrease your manufacturing costs they actually did it. It changed my entire company. I made an incredible profit. I looked at the volume of work and I spread it out over a day shift, a night shift and a weekend shift. And I literally went from like a couple employees to 55 employees over a three year period, changed my entire existence. And it was incredible. That fundamental thing that I did was go to a big company, explain myself, create a relationship, show them that I'm not here to just to take your money. I'm here to solve your problem. I'm here to actually lower your manufacturing costs. And, and I'm doing something different than everyone else. And because that's who I am, and because I bring value to your company, all of a sudden, the relationship just builds. Don't you love it when a young person comes up to you with an idea to make things better? I love the enthusiasm. Like I want to give them an opportunity. 
when when some when one of my employees comes and says, even if I don't agree with it or, or whatever, if one of my employees comes to me and says, hey, Titan, if we did this, this and this, we would improve this. And if we did this, it would improve this and then blah, blah, blah. I love the attitude. So I'm, I'm going to 100 percent be all about it or I'll explain why we can't do it and I'll give them another option. So Alex actually did this to his customers. He said, look, instead of doing this much work, give me this much work. Give me give me a whole bunch of work. So instead of just a couple parts, give me 30 different parts, because what I'm going to do for you is I'm going to drop my manufacturing rate. I'm going to look at volume and I'm going to say if all my machines are filled with work and I'm running multiple shifts, I can decrease my manufacturing time per hour and basically pass those savings on to you. Not only that, but if you give me all the different work, I will create fixtures and tombstones and I will program in such a way to run as many parts as possible therefore not opening the door after every two parts because I only had 15 parts to run I will change my mindset I will look at it and say I have a blanket order so I'm going to actually run five orders in a row and therefore I will set up 20 parts at a time 30 parts at a time to solve your problems and and not only that but I will actually do it in such a way that I can keep the same tools in the machine for multiple similar jobs. And therefore, with fixtures, with tooling, with all of it, I'll take up the setup costs and I'll actually take that savings and pass it on to you. We will have a relationship for the long term, which will allow me to dig my roots into your company. I have consistency in work. I'm able to grow my company. I'm able to pass on a great savings to you and then your customer not only are they able to solve their supply chain issues which everybody has issues right now but they can solve the problems and decrease their manufacturing costs at the exact same time by having that partnership and if you take out the setup if you do all the different things and you explain it you're solving their problems in such a way they're not going to bring it in-house they're not going to go somewhere else because they believe in you and you're taking care of them. Now, what happened after Alex implemented that plan is genius. It's everything. And that's why I wanted to turn on the camera and like share it with you, because maybe you guys are going through something similar and you can do the exact same thing. And I asked Alex, I'm like, hey, Alex, I just want to talk to the community and tell them about what happened with you. Give them that testimony. He's like, hey, Titan. If it can help somebody else, go for it. Use my name. And that's what we're doing. So now he has 30 different jobs. He's 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 like a crazy production happening. He's quoting new machines. He's hiring new people. Just a couple months ago, he was going to quit running like it was messing with his head. And now months later, as a sponsored Under Armour athlete, he just ran the Baltimore Marathon and came in second. Man, two more minutes. You're going to be there. All right, Al, all the way in. You got this. I love you, bro. Dig it out, man. Dig it out. Al Alex! Boom, congratulations, Alex. A lot of people talk about it, a lot of people listen, but they don't take the action to go after it. And you did that in Jesus' name. I love it, I love you, sir. And uh, anybody out there that can use this, do it. It's incredible. Talk to your customers. Have relationships with your customers. No matter how solid the partnership is, continue constant in improvement and obsession for perfection bring things to the table to help them think outside the box help them have ideas on how they can decrease their manufacturing costs 
let them know about blanket orders, that you will actually run multiple parts and, and house some of those parts under contract and, and deliver as they need, you know? Whatever it takes, get genius about the process, pass on the savings to your customer, and then grow your company and be successful based on volume of parts, all machines running, 24 hours a day, bring in automation, do all of it, kill it in this game, take care of your family, put food on your own tables, make it happen. I'm so excited. Anyway, quick testimony. Alex, I love you. Congratulations. Everybody else, boom, go get it. Go get it. It's a mindset, baby. It's a mindset.